Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We are still at the excavation site. I'm not sure if I saw everything that there was to see in the schematic. The gastrofets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. Okay. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. So do I need to... I remember seeing a bunch of hooks somewhere. So do I need to... The gastrofets. Yeah. Ropes and hooks for the gastro So do I need to... This is a... Alright, I feel like I'm supposed to put something together. Right? Yeah. To reach that area? Use a siege? Do I need to make a... Do I have to make a siege device to reach over there? That's what the diagram is kind of telling me. I'm... Hmm. Because there's some hooks over here. There's some hooks over here. Construction hooks. I have construction hooks. I have rope. I have everything that I need. And I have the crossbow. So do I need to find... Maybe I have to find schematics. That... I guess that could be the case? Because I believe I've searched everywhere else. Maybe my research will get me schematics. Oh. Oh. This wall was covered with mud recently. What could be hidden here? Um. Use the tra- Ah, okay. That's where I can use the- Ah, okay. Frigidarium. Oh, the Frigidarium. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I feel like I'm scratching stuff off those lottery, those lottery ticket scratch off things. Come on. Is that not enough? I can see now. Um. Frigidarium. It is located at the Roman Baths in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. So we need to tell... Visit the Frigidarium. Okay. Have we completed... Find the missing weapon, what support site? Alright, so I completed... Examining... Searching the excavation site. Okay. Alright, so... I have a feeling we might need to come back to the excavation site because there's still rope over here. There's rope, there's a crossbow thing, and there's the hooks. Right? I don't need the ropes for All right. now. We're going to need the ropes later. For right now, our lead is telling us to go to the Frigidarium. We don't have many leads here. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to disagree there, Watson. So RP Gamer pointed out to me that, disappointingly, in the original Sherlock Holmes series, he never actually says, "Elementary, my dear Watson." I, I, I feel like my my childhood has been completely tarnished because of that. But yeah, that's disappointing. I think he ends up saying it later on, but I don't remember. I don't remember uh, how how long after the original Sherlock series. So that's Mr. Holmes. Interesting. We've cleared the corridor to the Frigidarium. Oh, you can visit it now. Convenient. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. You could say that I unlocked it, unlocked the ability to, to see the Frigidarium conveniently by wiping the mud off of the. Frigidarium mural. Okay. Frigidarium. Let's see what we can find here. Hopefully nothing's gonna cave in on us. Oh, you guys cleared those rocks pretty darn well. Oh. This does look like the Frigidarium in the picture. Why is there still water in the Frigidarium? Oh. There's fish in the Frigidarium. Okay. And bugs and more Roman symbols. Is that Caesar? Not really sure who these 
figures are. Okay. A jug. Perhaps I could find some clues by activating the flagstones. Okay. Another one here. Spider. There better not be any traps. Jug, spider, trident. Okay. That one I can push forward or back. Caduceus. Okay, so Mercury, Neptune. Spiders is like law, not law. That's D and D. Not sure. The verdicts. The jury is still out on whether or not I'm supposed to push the trident. Um, scorpion. Sub Zero. Is there anything around here that tells me which buttons I'm supposed to be pushing? Oh, wreath. For um, Hera, I guess? Hera's Greek. One-eyed face. That's the... Uh, that's the... Okay. Cyclops. And a ship. Okay. Or one of these room supposed to open? Helmet. Um. Huh. Spider. There doesn't seem to be one here. Spider, jug, Trident, Caduceus, okay, there's got to be something that tells me what I'm supposed to push for these, Scorpion, huh, Maybe... Hold on. Let me go back to my laboratory. I'm not sure if doing research there will necessarily help, but it's gonna give it a try. Sir Rodney Bentleaf's office. Mr. Holmes? What should we do next? Uh, let's go back to Baker Street. Maybe I don't have enough information. Um... If it doesn't, if getting, doing research back at Baker Street doesn't work, maybe I should take a better look at the mural again at the excavation site. Just a guess. Um, the statue, okay, helmet is Minerva. St. Albans, the statue of Neptune. There's a statue of Minerva, the goddess of the war. Oh, and Vulcan. Oh, I need to hit these three. Okay. But let's do, let's get the mold pieces. 12 pieces might be combined into casting, into a casting mold. Let's do that real quick. Combine the cubes. There are 12 pieces here. Let's try to gather them. Rotate and swap mold pieces depending on their shape to position them in accordance with each other. Hold for vertical rotation. Release. Oh. Okay. 
Um, oh, I see. I see. All the grooves need to... Okay, okay. I think I see. I understand what's happening. I will count this piece as a starting point. Okay. I will count... I will count this piece as, as a, a starting st point. Okay, okay. Um, so that needs to... This needs to rotate... Um, this way. Um, like that. Or maybe not. Oh! Oh! They swap! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So this is the starting piece. So if that fits there... Alright, this is probably going to take a while. Alright, that looks like that belongs in the bottom. Alright. So that means this... Where are the corners? If I can find the corners... That's not a corner. That's not a corner. This looks like a corner. This looks like a top corner, maybe. Maybe. Okay. So... Yeah. That fits there, is my guess. That, and then this, those are not corners. None of those are corners. That one could be a corner. In fact, I think it might be, actually. Yeah. These are bottoms. Um, and that's a bottom. Yeah. Let's do that first. Bottom, bottom, bottom. And... Bottom. I believe that's... Yeah, these are all bottoms. These are all tops. Oh. Yeah, these are all tops. And these are all... Yeah. I think we got them in the same layer. So that's step one. Step two, which one fits with which? There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. There we go. Okay. All right, now I'm getting the hang of this. Move this around here. Um, don't know if that's right. Oh, it is. Move this around there. There we go. Alright, now we're getting it. And then last but not least... These things. That one's the only pointy one. This one has a pointy one on the corner. Um, I think it's this one? Maybe? I think? Yeah, I was right. Okay, okay. And then last but not least... Um... That grew... I feel like these should swap. Yeah. No, no, no. Go back! And then that should go there. There we mold, go. And it is ready for casting. Perfect. Oi. The mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, and yet... Hmm. Melting pot. The mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Like gold, right? 
Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, let us see what we have here. Ah. Interesting. Curved dagger. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. Nice. Awesome. So... We have the mold form. The mold found in St. Albans was created to copy the golden knife of Mithras. Its shape fits the pattern of the murder weapon. Strange wound. A uh, possible silver weapon. An, an item of silver has been recently melted in the brazier. The mold was used to create the murder weapon. Create a silver knife. Check if we can create a silver knife with the materials found. Okay. We have silver, don't we? Yeah, silver experiment. Let's Let make a silver knife. Let us try to create an object from silver by using the mold. Take the silver piece, melt it, melt it. It will take a minute to melt the silver with my gas burn. Just a minute. Oh my gosh, that wasn't quite a minute. Done. Now I can proceed. That, that wasn't quite a minute, but okay. Don't we need like I don't know, don't we turn it off first? Should we turn this off? Oh come on, safety first, Sherlock. <laughs> At least get some like I don't know, oven mitts or something. Melted silver. The mold is hot. I should wait for it to cool down. Yeah, we'll turn off the turn off the gas. You left the gas now, on this entire time. Now I can proceed further. Sherlock, I can't. I can't. Okay, boys and girls, don't do this at home. When you're, you're, you are leaving an open flame on an empty pan, an empty pan, Sherlock. Come on, man, you're supposed to be smart. Oh, this is so disappointing. Baker, I'm surprised Baker Street hasn't burnt down yet. Oh. A homemade silver knife. Excellent. We have created a knife with the silver that we found. It could have been used to kill Sir Rodney. It was extremely clever to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. Uh, by the way, Holmes, Holmes, correction. It's a Holmes made knife. A Holmes made knife. Oh, I kill myself. Oh, they kill me. Silver knife. Uh, inside the brazier. Oh! He could have melted the weapon. That's what happened. The murderer killed Sir Roderick. I know his name is not Sir Roderick. Sir Rodney. And then to hide the weapon, he chucked it into the brazier and it melted. And that's why we found the silver in the brazier. Smart, smart. The silver weapon was used and then destroyed in the brazier, brazier after the crime. The presence of water is due to the humid atmosphere caused by the steam. The presence of water in the blood is an unexplained clue. It must be linked to the murder process. Still unexplained. Oh. Steam moisture. Method, the silver knife. The murderer hid the weapon in the clouded steam room. He then placed the knife in the brazier to destroy it, which resulted in the melted silver that we found. That, to me, makes sense. So we have the method, I believe. The mold was used to create the murder weapon. Okay. We're still not that far in. What else do we have to do? We need to talk to someone of the book about Mithriac Mysteries and the Cult of Mithras. So Rodney Brad goes left leaves of when okay. Let's go to let's go back to the frigidarium. I don't think we need to do any more research. Okay. We're getting close, folks. 
Why do I keep going into home? Stop going into stop going into Watson's room. You you do that at night, not during the day. <laughs> uh, okay, back to the frigidarium. This time, we are going to only activate the helmet, the trident, and the cyclops. Because I believe those were the only things that we saw. Okay. At the excavation site. That's the only thing I can think of. Now the question is, did they did the switches magically reset when I left them? No. Okay, good. Helmet's fine. The spider. I can, yeah, unpush the spider. The jug, unpush the jug. The trident is fine, pushed in. The caduceus, that gets pushed out. The Scorpion, that gets pulled out. The wreath gets pulled out. The one-eyed face stays, and then last but not least, the ship gets pulled out. I'm hoping this works, because the only three Nothing? Nothing? The helmet's pushed in. The spider's pushed out. The jug is pushed out. The trident is pushed in. The caduceus is pulled out. What the? Oh, never mind. The scorpion is pushed out. Yeah. The wreath. One-eyed face. And the ship is pushed out. I think that's all I had to do, right? Uh, am I missing something? Find a use. There's a statue of Minerva, the goddess of St. War. St. Albans side had the statue of Neptune, the god of the sea. Fresco depicting Vulcan and Cyclops that work on the forge. So those are the only things that I pushed in though. Oh wait. Is that a key? A hidden sign. Oh. Oh. Let's check the um I bet you yeah there's another one on the trident. A symbol. Okay. It looks like those look like the hands on a clock. So, and there was like a key looking thing, and there was a hands on the clock, and then Okay. A hidden symbol. Now I have all the clues to help me find where these symbols are leading. Okay. All I need is imagination. Imagination. Combine all three statue elements to reveal their secret. Okay. Um. Okay. The controls in this is not that great. Is this an arrow? Is this supposed to be an arrow? I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Alright, if I move this here... If I move that there... Oh. Oh, I see, I see. 
There we go. I see. I see. Yeah. There we go. That takes it to that. The signs are pointing to this bust. This bust? Which bust? That bust. Okay. Alright. I got it eventually, guys. I apologize for all of the screen screaming, but at least this proves that I'm actually playing this game blind. Come on, guys. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I'm sorry that it might take a long time for me to figure some of these things out, but I'm, I'm still having fun. Ooh. Whoa. So Rodney's, ooh, do I really want to go down there? Uh, I don't know about this. Watson, hold me. Uh, is this really a good idea? Oh gosh, really? Really? Holmes, you're not Indiana Jones. What like, is this place? The catacombs. I am unsure, Watson. But everything points to the fact that it was the last place visited by Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. We are approaching the end of this mystery. I don't believe we are approaching the end of us. Visit the Frigidarium is complete. Salt. To lamp. That's good. A broken. broken glass plate. What is it doing here? I should examine it at Baker Street. Okay. How very ice peculiar. Box. An ice maker. Why would Sir Rodney have brought such a device here? An ice maker? The knife could have also been made of ice. I don't know. And then the ice would have just melted. But then that doesn't explain the silver. That doesn't explain the random piece of silver in the brazier. Oh, a fresco. Whoa, what are you doing to that? Oh, it's a... It's the, is that a bull? It's a bull. Mithras, the god, clothed in Anatolian costume and wearing a Phrygian cap, killing the bull. Oh, Phrygian cap. Okay. Jeez. This fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. Oh. Seven grades of Mithras initiation. The initiation grades of the cult of Mithras. There's the curved, that hook looking thing. Like a Statue of Liberty looking thing. There's a Statue of Liberty crown and the torch. Somebody dancing with some, a cockroach and a maraca and a shovel. There's a spear and a uh, I don't know, um, a mind flare, and I don't know who that is. This is like ink blot. It's like an ink blot test. Um, some helmet looking thing, some caterpillar looking thing, and little caterpillar things. A bird, uh, another bug, <laughs> and a teapot, a teacup. I know that's not what they actually are, guys. I'm just trying to say the first thing that popped into my head when I see those pictures. This fresco resembles... Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Symmetry and all that. Search the tunnels. We're nearing, nearing the end. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. How dreadful. Judging by the broken orbit, this poor fellow met a death similar to Sir Rodney's. Oh. Really? Huh. This shoe is not from the Roman era. It is medieval at best. This man was a tomb raider who met with an unfortunate end. Really? By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Oh, gosh. All right. I think I actually have to end it here, guys. Thanks to you for watching. Oh, jeez. Here with all of the creepy, crawly corpse things. I'm just going to stay over here next to Watson. Watson, I'm going to hide behind you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, love yourselves and love, your, love each other. <laughs> Hold me, Watson. Hold me.